Good morning everyone, happy Monday. It's a new week. I just went to Essentials to do a boxing cardio class. And I'd be lying if I said it was easy to wake up this morning. I didn't go once last week. The only form of exercise I did was go for a walk, which I did do every day except Saturday. So I feel like if I didn't go for a walk, I don't know. I just feel like I'm not productive. I don't have energy. I need to like get my body moving um, in order to be productive and basically have a good day. So yeah, I just didn't go to any other additional classes last week, which is not like me, but I don't know. Like I said last week, my sleeping pattern has been really out of whack. Even last night, I went to bed at 12 and got up at 5.30. So yeah, I'm running off like five and a half hours sleep. Um, I don't know why, like my brain just won't switch off and I'm not like working or anything at that time. Like we're like still on the couch at 10.30 when we need to be in bed by 10.30. And then by the time we like do our skincare, brush our teeth, get into bed, because like you don't go to bed straight away, you're on your phone. And then before you know it, it's like 11, 30, 12, and we're still awake. But um, yeah, that needs to change. Anyway, just finished a class. Now I'm going to go head onto the treadmill. I've been really loving, yeah, going for a walk in the morning, just so I can like smash up my emails, catch up on everything on my phone. And yeah, that's what I'm going to go do. It's actually a bit chilly this morning. Have I forgotten anything? Yes, I have. I've forgotten my apartment keys, which I will need. Anyway, I'll see you up there. How cute is my little gym fit? This top is LSKD X Georgie. Um, I think she's coming out with it this week. And then my tights are Lulu. Love this top though. Okay, I'm back from my walk. I actually prepared Overnight oats, which I don't think I've ever had before. Okay, so this one's the overnight oats. That actually does look pretty good. And then this is my wheat bix cheesecake. Oh shit, I forgot to put um my Yopro on top, but I can just add that in. Maybe I'm trying this. Let me just have like a little taste. I'm kind of scared. The protein tastes really concentrated, but I think I need to put it in like a bigger container because this is quite small. I only had like a small one left, but yeah, I feel like if I had more almond milk mixed in with it, but I'm just going to put some of this Yopro on top and then maybe like banana berries on top of my wheat mix. getting ready I'm gonna ask Peter what shoes I should wear these ones or these ones these are. what do you mean these are cute they look like balloons do you like these the fuck are they? <laughs> I actually might wear them today they're the um ballet flats from Elias May that I got the other week and I actually haven't worn them yet Showcases your ugly feet. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't have the prettiest feet, but like. Yeah, hell. What do you mean? They're just different, but like. I actually really like them. I'll show you when I've um, buckled them up. They, don't even look comfy. they actually are comfortable, but I think I do need band aids <laughs> because when I did wear them the first day, I got them around the warehouse instead of rubbing. Anyway, I did end up buying these Elias May 
thong slides. I feel like perfect for spring and also they are a bit of a dupe for the Chanel slides. I've seen them. They do have like detailing. Actually, do they? I can't remember if they've got like gold detailing around here or if there's just like the one Chanel logo, but they're the same shape and like puffiness and like puffy thongs. So yeah, I, I love them, but obviously these are a fraction of the price. Um, so yeah, Elias May and then yeah, these ones are from Elias May too, I'll show you. You know, that's what they look like. That's what they look like from above. I don't know, there's just like something about them that I was so drawn to when I saw them. Yeah, I really love these. I think I'm gonna wear them today. I also put on a different necklace stack today. I haven't worn my personalized jazz necklace in the longest time. Obviously everything is jazz handmade. Um, actually, if your name is Jazz, we have one of these already made at the warehouse, ready to go. You usually have to wait like three to four weeks for all personalized 9K necklaces to be made. But when I got this one made, I made two. So we do have one of these exactly like this in stock. Um, and then this is the Florence necklace, which is restocking next month and then this is the new matty necklace i think i'm gonna go in with the carbos for a bit of a statement i've literally been wearing the bells like every single day so i need to change things up and wear the carbos love these so much there we go love okay i'm ready everyone i'm back home i didn't really vlog that much when i was in the warehouse um but nothing too exciting happening there although i did just get a package from sports girl because i'm actually working with them not with their clothes but with their beauty on tiktok and they were like we'd love to send you some outfits and the last time i shopped on sports girl or like walked into a sports girl would have been Honestly, when I've been in like high school or something, like I just, same with like Dotty and all of that, like I just, I don't know, they're just not normally the kind of brands that I would shop at now. Back then, 100%, I used to always shop there, but they sent me some goodies and I'm actually shook at like what pieces are on the website. I did make some selects, so I'm really, really excited to wear these. I'll show you guys some of the pieces. Obviously, this part of the vlog isn't sponsored by Sports Girl, but I don't even have to show all these outfits that they sent me. They just really wanted to. They were like, we've got some really cute styles that we think you would love. And I went on and I was like really shook, like not even kidding. Um, so yeah, I got some vests. Like this is just so nice. You guys know I'm in my vest era. I'm obsessed with them. So I got this white one. This one's a little bit more tailored than the one that I've got from Princess Polly, which is more... I guess like casual, it's like a thinner material, whereas that's a little bit thicker. So I got that one in the black as well. And then I got these like, they remind me of my Jerf Avenue um, pants that I have, but they're like cargo style and they just sit really nice on. So I got these and then, okay, you guys know the struggle of finding a denim skirt that fits, especially when you've got like a smaller waist and bigger thighs and legs like I do so I didn't have high hopes for this like I was like this is probably going to be a fail but whatever I'll still give it a go and now I want it in white and black it fits even better than the one from Sundays that I got a couple of weeks ago honestly I'm going to go online and get it in the 12 this fits so nice I might actually wear this tomorrow and show you guys or I'll show you guys at one point in the vlog but it is a full length with a slit at the back, but I just love the wash of denim and like it fits so nice. I'm honestly shook. 
They also did have a few dupes. This is like honestly sounding like I've been sponsored by Sports Girl, but I promise you this part of the vlog isn't. Um, okay, wait, dupes later. I got this like longer vest, which I've seen before, but I just wasn't sure if it would suit me, but I would probably pair this with a pair of black trousers. It's definitely giving more like corporate business vibe, but with like even a lace bralette underneath peeking through would be so cute because it is quite low. And then again, I got the same um, vest in black. I just got this plain boob tube, which is like really good quality and thick. And I got these like beige linen pants, which fit like an absolute dream. I think I need to get them hemmed a little bit um, because they are a little bit long, but I got everything in a size 12 and it just fits me like a glove. I personally don't really like when my clothes are too tight. So yeah, they just fit me so, so nicely. So yeah, thank you so much Sports Girl for spoiling me. I'm just like really impressed and I'm obsessed with all the pieces that I got. Okay, I feel like I need to take a breather. Have some water, I just spoke, I swear like a million miles an hour. Oh yeah, did I ever update you about my tulips that I was trying to grow? Well, we had a bit of like a period where we had rain like almost every day. And I think I drowned them because they're just shriveled up now. Like it, it doesn't even look like I planted them. And I have like my last update that I took on my phone was like, you could see the stem looking like a tulip. And I was so excited. Like all it needed to do was just the flower just needed to come out the top, but it was like this tall as well. And I was so excited and the storm hit or whatever that was. And now they're just, it's like I never even put the seeds in. So that was a fail. So maybe if you're trying to grow tulips, you can only grow them like in winter or like it needs to be cold apparently. So yeah, I did plant them at the right time, but I probably should have like covered them. I just didn't even think, I just thought like the more water the better, but no, it actually like full killed them. So there goes my idea of growing my own tulips. Maybe next year I need to go and clean up all my recycling. I've got a few emails that I need to reply to. And yeah, that's it. I just basically, yeah, I wanted to come on here and show you guys all that stuff because I'm obsessed. I just forgot that I got this package from Stax as well. I love this blue. Um, I've been in my like black activewear era. Like I don't really wear anything other than white or black or beige, but this blue, I love. Like love, love, love this blue. So it's just in the... This is the, um, not the strappy one, the racer back. And then I just got the full length, um, tights. These feel so soft. Like I feel like they're just changing their material every time I get a package and it's for the better. Like these are just so stretchy. Wow. Love that color actually. My apartment is looking like an absolute pigsty. So let's clean it. I'm sure you're all wondering whether this Biscoff cake is worth it. And I've tried obviously a lot of cakes in my time and this is dead set in like top two. I don't even know what my top one would be. I could eat the whole entire thing and then I'd feel violently ill, but like it's got like a Biscoff layer like a biscuit layer and then the cheese inside tastes like biscoff and then there's a layer of biscoff spread on top so it's like a triple biscoff cheesecake i actually don't even think 
my mum, who is like queen of cheesecakes, would ever be able to make it as good as this. It is next level. Like, holy shit. I'm gonna do this micro peel that I bought from Skin when I went last. I should have actually probably done this last week, but I completely forgot that I had it. It is the DMK Micro Peel Face and Body Exfoliation Gel. Apparently it's meant to be good for congestion. Like I've got quite a few, I've just got texture on my forehead that I can't seem to get rid of. Like I, I use AHAs, BHAs and all that stuff that I don't know much about, but yeah, I use it all and it just doesn't seem to want to clear it. But she said this is really good. Um, it says apply thin layer to clean skin after three to five minutes, rinse with cool water if irritation occurs, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I don't even know how much to use. She said use an old brush. I couldn't find an old one. This is actually brand new. <laughs> so I'm gonna use that. Okay, so it's basically just like a gel moving you across because I actually need a mirror to be able to see. Okay, I probably should have cleaned that brush. This brush reminds me of like the type of brush that they would use when I get like a DMK enzyme put on, like a fan brush like this. It's not tingling or anything like that. It just kind of just feels like I just put a serum all over my face. So yeah, I'm meant to keep that on for, I'll just keep it on for five minutes and then wash it off. I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner. I think because I did have a, I had a pasta, like a, I heated up a pasta for lunch and I'm like really full, you know, when you just still feel your lunch, like in your stomach. Um, so I might have one of the chef good chicken soups um, for dinner. It's actually so nice. It reminds me of my mum's cooking. That's probably why I like it so much, but oh, I think some got in my eye. It's stinging now. Anyway, um, yeah, so I might have that for dinner. Just something like not heavy. And yeah, I just have a chilled one. This lighting makes my hair look yellow. That's like a peachy colour. I usually have it at pink. This is from, um, that's scary. Uh, why can't I say it? Ikea. The lamps are from Ikea and then the color changing globe is from Ikea as well. And then it comes with this little like remote where you can change the color and the brightness. Usually I have it on this pink color, but yeah, whoa, my hair looked so, so yellow. And now I look crazy in this light. But look what I found in my little book collection. I forgot that I bought this ages ago. It's brand new. I can't take this lighting seriously. <sighs> I guess that's better, but now I just look yellow. Anyway, I look so different. Um, yeah, I didn't give this one a good crack, but a lot of you guys did actually recommend this so I'm glad that I've got it and this is the last Colleen Hoover book that I've got I've read Verity that was the second book that I read after it ends with us oh my god I haven't read it starts with us and I actually did buy it so maybe I'll read that one next um yes I'm gonna start reading November 9 tonight good morning everyone this is my fit for PT I was scared someone may have been waiting outside the lift. But yeah, I'm going to my PT session right now. I didn't go last week because Colm was away. So I'm going to be really sore tomorrow. This is the fit. I've got my clips in again. I actually kind of like them. They're a bit cute.
officially finished filming. You might ask, why am I in the same vest? Well, it turns out I hated all that content that I filmed that day that I filmed all that. I didn't hate all of it. I still liked two of the reels, but my outfits in this, I didn't like. Not the outfits, but I just, I decided I didn't like how I put together the outfit. But yeah, I really, really love how today's turned out. So basically my outfit for the spring series is how to style a knit vest three ways. So I paired it with this skirt, which I actually have had for so long um, from Cotton On, so random, but it's like the perfect length, not too short, not too long. And then I also paired it with this, which is what I originally um, wanted to pair with it. Was that my phone? That just went flying. Um, but I think I do like it tucked up into a bralette more than out. I don't know, it just kind of didn't really give me much shape. So it looked so much better like this. And then last night I came across something on Pinterest with a black belt and white pants. Well, these are actually denim pants that I haven't actually worn yet from Dish. And I was like, that would actually look really cute with the um, knit vest as well. So yeah, that was my third. I'm really happy with that. Hopefully... Yeah, the video ends up all right. But yeah, I just really loved all of the fits. I did a headband for the last look because I just thought I would change it up. But yeah, that is what I just got up to this morning. I filmed, yeah, a makeup reel and then, yeah, a clothing reel. I just finished filming my second reel that I had to do today. I actually wasn't planning on doing it today, but then I realized I've got needling tomorrow. And I probably won't want to put on a full face of makeup even like the next day. I just like to let my skin breathe. So I need to get it done this week. So I just smashed it out and did it. This is the aftermath. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I was just editing my vlog yesterday and shit, I've vlogged so much over the past two days. Um, but you guys did say you wanted me to be a bit more chatty and pick up my camera more. So I have. Um, I'm just at the gym, obviously, on the treadmill. I've got a skin appointment this morning at nine. I actually need to do this walk quite quickly and then get ready and go. I don't know if I'm gonna do needling today or a DMK enzyme facial. I don't know because I guess the downtime for needling isn't too bad. I just have a lunch and a dinner this week on Thursday and Friday with a few friends from Perth. So I'm just not sure. I'll ask her what she thinks anyways. Um, but yeah, I remember last time I got needling, the downtime wasn't too bad, but yeah, that's what I'm doing this morning. I put a little bit of gradual tan on last night. Love that. And yeah, I will, I'll see if I can try vlog in the skin appointment because I'm pretty sure the last couple times I've gone I haven't but it's just so relaxing in there I just don't even want to film but I should probably let you guys know what I do the music um but yeah apparently you see like the best results a week from your treatment i just went to the post office and i'm pretty sure this is my stanley bottle that i ended up caving and buying did i need it no did i want it yes because one it just looks so cute and who doesn't love a new water bottle so i caved and i got it they, I was tempted to buy the, the dupes, but I don't see a point in buying like 
especially when the price difference was only like, I think it was like $30 to get the real thing. I was just like, I may as well just, you know, pay the extra $30 and get the real thing. But <laughs> it's huge. Wow. So it's like the straw's constantly in it. So you can't like tuck away the straw. It's a bit unhygienic vibes, but I guess for around the house. Oh my God. So cute. Obviously bought it from Amazon. It's in my storefront. If you want to check out all my other purchases. Um, yeah, it's all like under one sort of like group. Um, I actually need to edit my storefront and make it like a little bit more pretty, but yeah, I'm really excited to use that. Um, I feel like every single person has that bottle. Okay, anyways, I've got to go because I'm getting stares at the post office. But my face, as you can see, looks a little bit more red. I think it's like coming through. Yeah, you can see it around my eyes. But yeah, I'm going to be glowing in a week. As you saw, and of course my greens. I always have my greens either with lunch or dinner. I don't know why, I just don't really feel like them like first thing in the morning. Like I'd much rather have and enjoy my matcha with my breakfast. I don't know, I'm just, yeah. I just can't imagine having this like in the morning. So I usually have it, I would say like at lunchtime. And I just heated up a chef good meal. You guys know I'm obsessed with these greens. Banana lolly is the best flavor. Ever. Pineapple Pash, I would say, comes second, but like out of all the flavors that they have, this one has got the least greens aftertaste, in my opinion. Like, it still obviously tastes like greens. It's not going to not taste like greens, but it's definitely the easiest to drink, in my opinion. So, if you haven't tried Banana Lolly, seriously, what are you doing? I'm obsessed with this. I actually look forward to having this every day. One serving of this is one serving of veggies, which is amazing. Anyways, you guys know how much I love Naked Harvest. I use their protein in my oats pretty much every single morning that I'm having it. Um, my favorite protein flavor right now is actually cookies and cream. Like I've been obsessed. I tried it like the other day because I've been having banana split. And I'm just so used to that flavor. And I tried cookies and cream and I was like, new fave. So that has replaced banana split. Looks like I'm naked, but I've just got this low rise top on. Um, but yeah, I'll leave my discount code as always. It is an affiliate code, which means it does help me out if you do end up using it. They're actually bringing out a new product um, at the end of this month, which I'm really, really excited to try. So hopefully I get that soon. Um, I'm just gonna wait for this to cool down. I Okay, so I've got this really exciting event next month. It's not until the end of the month, but I just want to be organized with my outfit. And the theme is silvers, silver black neutral vibes. So like no patterns or color. So I was thinking for my outfit, I could wear silver and black, which is not like me because I'm a gold girl. I was thinking I'm either wearing a silver top, black bottom, silver shoes, you know, the whole sandwich thing. Um, if you guys don't know what that means, it pretty much means like the sandwich fashion rule is like, Basically, you want to match your top with your shoes and then a different color in between. So if I do a silver top, black pants, silver shoes type of vibe. So I could do that or I could do an all black fit with silver shoes, silver bag. That could be an option. Anyways, I went on to Zara because they're actually slaying right now and I got a few pieces and oh my God. So this looked really cool on the website. I wasn't sure it was going to be a bandage material like from the photos on the website it just kind of looked like a thicker not not knitted but like just like a thicker like a really thick material stretchy top this isn't stretchy at all yeah it's giving bandage so obviously i got a medium thinking it was going to be stretchy like there's just no way this is even going over my shoulder it's like i tried like look at this like how am i actually getting that like, I can't even stretch it out over my head. So, I don't know whether to just, like, chalk this top. Like, I feel like I would literally need an extra large. Like, not even kidding. Like, to get it over my leg. I've tried getting it up over my legs. Not working. So, I don't know. Am I going? It's, like, really cute. 
Like it would be really cool on with like a pair of, I was thinking like um, oversized silky cargos, maybe the ones that I got from Sports Girl or something. I don't know. Anyway, not sure about that, but they've got heaps of cool silver tops um, online. So I'm sure I'll find something. Now, basically ever since my Princess Polly haul, I have loved shorts and skirts. Like what is wrong with me? But then again, it is fucking hot like it is literally i'm pretty sure it's like almost 30 degrees today like i'm sweating um so i thought i would get some shorts but these are more like businessy type shorts that i can dress up with like a belt i thought like even like a shirt tucked in with this would look really cool they're not too long not too short they're like just the right um length but i'm just i don't know if this is my vibe yet like I've seen so many people styling shorts like this. I feel like the only outfits that I've seen in these kinds of shorts are like a t-shirt tucked in with them with a belt. It just looks really chic and classy. I'll actually leave a photo from Pinterest that I got inspo from with these shorts, but I'm just, I'm not sure if the whole t-shirt paired with them is my vibe. Maybe like a cute crop and then like an overshirt or even a button up long sleeve could look cool like half tucked in maybe with like bralette showing not sure but i need to figure out a way to style them i did end up getting them in a medium and a large and i just wish i'm honestly in between both sizes like i'm seriously a size 11 it's so annoying um so yeah the large is like too gapy at the back but fits my legs perfectly the medium is actually all right it still does do up but it is quite firm on my legs i just don't know what kind of look I'm wanting. I think I'm going to lean more towards the large for a more relaxed look. And I can always just use a belt to kind of cinch me in. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to have to play around with them and just see what the vibe is. Wait, let me just have some food because it's getting cold. I saw these online. You guys are going to laugh at me. I feel like ever since I got those like fishnet ballet flats, I've loved ballet flats. Like, what the hell? Anyway, I thought, I'm not really a heels person. Like, I do like a little kitten heel. That's fine. But, yeah, I'm just not really a heels type of gal. I don't know if it's the model making them look good and, like, what she was wearing and how she was styling it. Or I've just gone completely nuts and mad because what am I actually doing? Anyway, I saw these ballet flats. But like, hear me out. Obviously, silver top, similar to that. Baggy, silky cargo pants, oversized. And then these just peeping through the bottom. Like, isn't that a vibe? And then a little like bow here. I don't know. I just thought that that would be really cute, chic. Not too over the top. Like I don't want to be wearing this like tight dress and heels to this event. Like it's a little bit more casual. It is a daytime event um, and it starts at two. But yeah, I just wanted to be like a bit more like low key, but still make a statement. Like I even think I'm going to get like a silver bag or something to go with it. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just not sure. They actually fit really nice. And I actually tried them on with a pair of pants and they look pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know. It's just obviously not my usual style. And I don't think I would wear them outside of this like event. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'll, I'll think about it. I need to also see like what other people are wearing as well. So that'll determine what I wear. Anyway, that's for another day. I just thought I would share. Yeah, I will keep you updated and let you know if I do end up getting anything else. Oh my god, that's just gone everywhere. <laughs> Not the Zara pants that I'll probably return. It's right, it's just water. Okay, guys, I actually tried on the pants with a vest. Much better. These are the medium. Like, quite tight fitted. I don't normally like stuff that's like my exact size. I know I'm weird. Like, I'll always go upper size, especially in bottoms. But see how... It's like quite tight on my legs. But like there's no gaping or anything. Like it fits me really nice. And then I can wear like an oversized top. It just sucks that you can't see if I wear a belt. Because that would look really nice. But 
Yeah, that's the vibe. You know? From the office. This tag is killing the vibe. Um, yeah. You know, with a pair of sandals. Okay, these are the large. Definitely a lot more comfortable. What the f a bit gapy at the back, but still like just nice. Like it just sits on my body, you know? Thoughts? I'm actually gonna wait for your opinions before I send it back because I'm still thinking about the shoes. Even with like a beige or a white um, little waistcoat would look really cute, but I just thought, you know, little summer work fit. This is the tag if you want a screenshot. $65. Okay, I tried it on with a different top. This would be cute with a belt. These ones are in a large. I feel like if I'm tucking shit in, I'm gonna need some extra room, you know? Like these fit perfectly now. Most of my outfits that you see me wearing, check my LTK. It is basically like an affiliate based app where you can link all your outfits. It's actually so handy. So I've been doing that with the brands that are on the app because not all brands like Zara, I wish Zara was on the app. Um, what other brand that I wear all the time that's not on the app? I can't think now, but yeah, there's only, it's only really like, well, not popular because obviously Zara is popular, but like, yeah, not every single brand on there, which is really frustrating, but you can link similar products. Um, so yeah, I will have that link down below if you want to check it out. But yeah, all of my outfits that you see me wear on Instagram or like that I'm just wearing out that I haven't posted, I'm, I'll snap on there and then I'll like link like all the exact items. So it's easy for you to shop. And yeah, if you do use any of those links to directly shop those items, I get a small commission, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I will leave all this stuff apart from the Zara stuff in there as well. Um, it just gives you like an, another app as well that you can scroll through and like check what your favorite creators are wearing. It's kind of like Instagram. You can follow certain people and then you can just like browse the newsfeed and see what people have uploaded. Um, but yeah, I started actually following people on there as well for inspo. Anyway, I'm gonna go get this off. But yeah, I think I do love these shorts. I do wanna get some linen ones though for something a little bit more casual because these ones are definitely more like business. You know, they're like the trouser sort of material, like a thick trouser material. So yeah, I wanna try and find some black linen ones um, similar to my Princess Polly ones, but just a little bit shorter than those. Like these are the perfect length. I really like this length. Okay, bye, I'm gonna shut up now. Hello everyone. I am just preparing dinner. Preparing, well actually making a sandwich. We're gonna have continental rolls. Um, so I went and bought a fresh baguette. We've got some ham, Swiss cheese, prosciutto. I don't know what else I wanna put in it. Do we have sun-dried tomatoes or nah? That should be there. What sauce do you normally put in it? Like mayo or something because uh, this dip looks off what? Mr. nah the pesto the pesto one that i opened like years ago olives chuck some olives in what else pickles or nah is that weird It's not like super, super fresh. How old are these sun-dried tomatoes? This is so rogue. <laughs> and then maybe some cubes. Mm. 
Good morning, everyone. I just finished my walk. It's Thursday today. I just made my protein oats as usual. I felt like a hot coffee today, randomly. I don't know why. So I've been like addicted to matcha, but I was like, no, I actually feel like a hot coffee. I was just updating you guys on Instagram about my lips because I feel like I can finally kind of show you guys like properly. I feel like this lighting isn't really not doing it justice. Okay, that's way better. Yeah, I feel like even in this lighting, it looks a lot faded than what it is in real life. But you can kind of see the pigment in the lips. But yeah, that's the healed color and I'm obsessed. My coleslaw has finally gone away. Love. Okay, this is my OOTD. I've worn this so many times, but it's just like the perfect little spring fit. These are, I feel like I don't even need to say them because I wear them, I reckon, three times a week, minimum. They're my Myra Swim Tally Pants, and I have spoken to Bianca, which is the owner of Myra, and she said there is more coming. So I'm Honestly going to be buying them in every color she comes out with. Not even kidding. They're like the perfect summer, spring, like all year round actually. Like I literally wear these all year round. They're so comfy. Um, they did come with like a drawstring, but I removed it and I'm kind of regretting that because my brown pair that I've got has the drawstring and I like it a lot more. I feel like it just like makes it look a little bit more luxe. Anyway, um, yeah. And then this is my Jeff Avenue top which again i live in i love the cut the color everything about it and then uh, you may have spotted something which you will know about very very soon um yeah this is the fit i'm off to the warehouse now and then the girls are actually going to come and shoot some content by the pool just for something a little bit different you know to spice up the feed now that it's coming into warmer weather um but yeah that's the plan. Can't even see my camera. Neither. Okay, we're shooting some content by the pool. The same hat. Whoa, we're trying to copy some Pinterest photos. Katie's staying away from the sun over there. <laughs> and we've got the whole pool area to ourselves, which is a bit of a vibe. It's actually 30 degrees. I said it wasn't hot earlier and now <laughs> I'm dripping, so. All right, we've got a papaya, we've got some props. What else do we have? Oh yeah, where are the lemons? Are they in here? See, I like this, but you can't like just chuck it in your bag because it doesn't oh, have really? like a. Well, no, because oh, of the. It have a yeah, I've got some lemons. Okay, yeah. Cool. Cute. And then my sunnies are in there, the black ones, which might be cool for a flat lay. Mm. And then we've got the jewelry here. Cute. Should I use this as a Okay, just finished up at the pool. Oh my god, we got so much content. I feel like I've got panda eyes, but I just received my cotton on order. I feel like I ordered this like two days ago, so it's come real quick. I also ordered some um, beach chairs. I haven't been able to find cute ones. Well, last time I tried to find, apparently there was these Kmart ones, and they're just like, a, is it called rattan or rattan or whatever? Um, they were so, so cute and they were only $10, but they were just sold out like online in store. So I wasn't able to get a hold of them, but I've just been like on the hunt to find some for this summer. And I found some on cotton on They're like a beige and white checkered sort of print. Um, but I also got some, oh, this one's already been opened. I got a pair of shorts, like longer shorts, and then two skirts. So that is the wrong one. Why is that so short? I do not remember ordering that. Yes, I ordered these. So like a little bit longer shorts. This is what I ordered. Yes, the cargo, the same as my white one, but in the... Um, darker denim. This actually, no, that one's a lot shorter. I mean, I'll give it a go. It's just, I'm not really a shorts or skirt person. That's why I wanted one a little bit longer, but I will try them on and let you know how they go. But yeah, it is freaking hot outside, 30 degrees. And I probably should have put 
sunscreen on, but I didn't. I was in the shade pretty much most of the time anyways, but um, I'll open the chairs. Oh my God, cute. I did just want plain white ones. I, why are they just so hard to find everywhere? I don't get it. But when I found these, I was like, okay, this is perfect. bit of a vibe yeah i just i can't for the life of me find any like neutral looking ones like they're all like pink or orange or yellow or just like funny designs um but yeah i got two of those for summer well spring slash summer and they were 40 dollars each okay i'm ready for dinner i was gonna film it but i was watching the alex earl caller daddy podcast on my phone and I really wanted to watch it. It's actually so good. I actually can't wait for her podcast. And I don't really watch or listen to podcasts that much. But I'll show you guys the fit. Don't mind that pile of clothes there. So this top is Princess Polly. It's like a knitted cream top. I just feel like it goes with everything. I've actually worn it a few times now. I love it. Um, and then this is the skirt that I got from Sports Girl. Like, how good is the fit? I've got one from Perfect Stranger that I also like, but I feel like it's just really tight around here and it gives me that like bulge. But this one doesn't, it just sits, it like just fits really nicely. Anyway, I'm definitely gonna get this skirt in the white and then I'm just wearing my belt, this Polen Paris handbag that I got in Paris. I love the color of it. Um, and then I'm just wearing, I don't think you can see my shoes. My Hermes Arans, which I'm still breaking into. Like they are a bitch to break into. I feel like they just cut your feet. This is the makeup I got carried away. I wasn't actually planning on doing anything like full glam, but here we are. I was watching the podcast and I was just like, I don't know, just got carried away. Anyway, that's the makeup, that's the fit. And we're ready for dinner. I probably won't vlog to be honest when I get there, but I will see you guys Possibly when I get home. Good morning, everyone. Oh my God, I'm so tired. We get home, I got home at a reasonable time, like 10-ish, but oh, I could have kept sleeping. Anyway, I'm gonna make a pre-workout really quick because I feel like I need it. Okay. I just realized I have these sachets from when I get my, um, Naked Harvest order, so I'm gonna try cherry cola. I don't use like a full serving. Oh, actually, you know what? It doesn't even seem like a lot. Have you tried the cherry cola flavor pre workout? You haven't even tried it. You can't just say yuck. Okay, yeah, it's not my favorite. I thought it'd be like a bit sour. Like imagine if it was like sour Coke bottles. Mmm. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna stick to sour worms actually. Maybe Good morning, everyone. You do not know what I just did for the past, I reckon, 20 minutes. I even went down to the car to check if my vlog camera was in the car. I really almost turned the apartment upside down trying to find this freaking thing. And it was right there. <laughs> On my kitchen bench. Oh, my God. Like, how could I miss it? Anyway, yesterday we ended up putting together the outdoor table and I was planning to film it, but like, I don't think you guys understand. Okay, firstly, let me just show you what it came in. Like, this is what we have to get rid of. And we already did like two loads down to the recycling bin and filled it up. How gorge. I love her. It is so heavy. Like, me and Peter really struggled to, um, like, lift everything. 
uh, yeah, like this tabletop's 100 kilos. So, but yeah, it just looks so pretty. I can't wait to have like dinner parties, afternoon drinks for the summer, after the pool. I'm actually gonna go and make my oats and um, sit out there. This is my brekkie. My very first brekkie outside. I'm so excited for this in summer. Mmm. Feels so weird being out here. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup on camera. If you don't like makeup tutorials or me talking shit for probably like 20 minutes, no, nah, I'll try and make it snappy. Yeah, like I said, I'm doing Maddie's makeup, so I'm going to kind of like do my makeup and then pack at the same time. I've got all clean brushes here. So I've got like, to be honest, five sets of brushes in my collection. And then I'm just going to, pretty much as I use a product, I'm just going to put it in this little um, container. I'm going to bring all these as well because I've got those like samples from the, what's it called? The Surreal Skin. So I feel like I'll use that today and I don't know what color she is. I mean, I probably don't even think that's a bit dramatic bringing like all those colors. Maybe I'll just bring a handful. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. It's a bit dramatic bringing all freaking like 20 shades. I'm just gonna go in with my SPF, even though I won't be in the sun, but I just like having this underneath my makeup. Just sits so nice. See, I don't know if I want something full coverage. Like yesterday, oh no, when was it? Was it yesterday? Did I have my makeup yesterday? Where did I go yesterday? Oh yeah, I went to the Tropic and I feel like I wore too much makeup. Like, especially when you've got textured skin, I feel like my skin looks better with less makeup on it than it does with full coverage. Cause then I don't know, I just feel like you can see my texture so much more. So I think I'm going to try and do something a bit more natural. Like, yeah, just not pack it on. Like, I'm not going to use a pressed powder. I might just use a translucent powder to set. Well, let's prime first because that is a prime. I'm just going to use this Refi one. I haven't used this one in ages. Chuck that all on. Concealer. I'm just going to use my Kosas one and kind of just go over the parts of my face that I definitely want to cover. I think I will definitely use this. I'm literally obsessed with it. It just gives like the right amount of coverage without it being too full on. So yeah, maybe I will wear this today. Again, you only need like the littlest bit. And then I'm just gonna blend everything all in like together. My skin looks really good after um, my needling. It probably will start to dry up over the next few days. And yeah, my makeup will cling to like certain areas of my face, but I haven't really found that i like skin needling for that aspect of the recovery because i have really oily skin and i never ever get dry skin so i kind of like that my face is a bit more on the drier side like after needling because my face my whole life is just a bloody oil farm but not complaining because us oily skin girls will age so much better than People with dry skin and that is a fact now I'm gonna go in with my Westman Atelier cream bronzers which I still am obsessed with I use both shades actually this brush is amazing by the way as well like I love the Emco one it's pretty similar, um, like bristle vibes. This one's just like a little bit more like fluffy, but I just really like it. It's the Makeup by Mario one. Yeah, these Westman sticks, I feel like people don't talk about it. Like it is definitely pricey, like 77 bucks for a cream contour. That's probably gonna last like a couple months is a bit crazy, but 
I just feel like if you're new to cream contouring, you can't fuck up with this. Like it just, it seriously just blends into the skin so nicely. Like I've, yeah, I've never been so obsessed with a cream like contour product ever. That's like worked so nice. Like it just blends into the skin so pretty. You need to find a new matte bronzer. I do have this one, which I actually might use today just because I do have extra um what's it called texture like on my cheeks and the bronzer that i love is the hourglass this one the hourglass i think it's called the luminous bronze or something but it's got shimmer throughout it like it looks stunning on the skin but like when you've got texture it's just gonna bring it out so yeah i need to try and find a good oh i've got this one laguna i know casino which is like matte maybe i'll try that today and then blush also um, if you've got texture on your cheeks, a shimmery blush is not good. So that's why I usually like the Dior one because it's matte. But, oh, I just realized, oh no, I still got my smashed one. I'm going to have to open my new one, I think. Dior Rosy Glow. Yeah, this one's going to have to go in the bin, unfortunately. Actually, I'll save it for my empties video, but yeah. Love this one. Now I'm going to go in with the Huda. This one's in sugar cookie, which is just like a translucent color. I'm just going to peek. This is the Lush Fridays brow sculpt. I'll just like run that through my brows and then press it down and up. And then I use the other side to comb it off. Filmed a, um, what would my non-strict boss do in these like hypothetical situations? We filmed it after we finished shooting on Thursday and it's like gone by. <laughs> it's so funny. People are like asking for part two. I swear the videos that you just don't expect to go viral. Like it was so like on the spot and random and I was eating like this big like bowl of grapes and people are freaking commenting how good the grapes look which they actually do it's just so random like everything about it and like the girls didn't even like pre-plan the questions like i didn't even know what they were gonna say and they just like randomly made them up on the spot <laughs> it was actually so funny i wish i didn't watch that um someone that i follow on instagram I'm a mess. Oh my god. That post was so sad. What the f oh my god. I've been like following her for a while. And um, yeah, she'd always like post her grandma, like on her Instagram. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna put some of this on my lips. And then just before I leave, I'll pop on some gloss. Highlighter, I don't think I'm going to put it on, to be honest. Like, I do have this, which is nice. But, like, again, you don't want to put it on parts of your face that you have texture because it's just going to bring out the texture even more. So, like, what's the point? God, I got this package. I won't open it yet though, but Lounge Face from Loz Curtis sent me some of her like mascara, which is actually really good. I really liked it when I uh, tried it. Brow Pencil. Maybe let's try this. All right, I think I'm going to go in with some faux freckles i feel like this just makes your base look more natural so i'm just gonna pop a few anyone else <laughs> pcos things literally probably be left with a bloody beard if i didn't do that oh my camera's overheating that's weird Okay, um, well, I'm just going to finish off my makeup. I'll put on my outfit, show you guys, and then 
it'll be ready to go. I'm just wearing this with jean top and then this skirt is from Perfect Stranger. Oh, and my battery is about to die. <laughs>